Hey guys, Doc. So I'm doing a few shorter videos on a few things that I talked to you guys about. Uh, I did a video on the undersink water filter that we purchased and installed. I got one for the beach house and I got one for here. I wanted to show you this new security camera that I'm going to put at the beach house, but I decided to put one here as well too. Uh, I'll explain that in a minute. And then we've got a few other ones that we're doing. So uh, just came out here the other day, decided to install it. And I think it's pretty cool. So hold on. This will probably be one of the worst videos ever produced because <laughs> um, while I was waiting for him to come over and we were going to cut, I installed this security camera that I was talking to you guys about. And I think I'm going to order one for the beach as well too. This security camera, now I have blink systems. I have a blink camera system at the warehouse. I have one here at, the, at this house and I have one at the beach house. I have five cameras at the beach house. I have four cameras here and I have one camera at the warehouse and they're all on that one blink app. Watch uh, that blink video if you're interested in the blink systems. I just did an updated one about the outdoor camera. The only drawback I find with my cameras down there is sometimes I want to see something that's out of frame and I can't move the camera because it's down at the beach house or it's at the warehouse. So this camera that I installed today, actually you can scroll and make the camera move up and down and make it move sideways. You can use it as a security. It will give you alerts. They do offer cloud storage. I actually bought the cloud storage. I think it was like $23 for an entire year. Um, or you can use an SD card or you can save them to your phone. All the basic system, all the basic features that most of your security cameras offer. But again, decent quality footage. They claim 1080 HD. Um, it's, it's okay. It's not fantastic. But when you look at it on your phone, it's fine. For me, as a video producer, I bring it up full screen. I'm like, man, it doesn't look that great. I am, a couple things I am impressed with this. Number one, um, the IR at nighttime. Um, let me put up a picture. This is a picture of my backyard at like 5 a.m. this morning. And you can see that the infrared output of this camera is very strong. There are no lights on except for those pool lights and you can see the fence has a great nighttime vision um, infrared, I will say that. So like I said, um, the blink system that I have, I've got cameras, I've got cameras inside the house, inside the garage, on the front, on the back, I've got them all around, but I want to be able to sort of show you guys what's going on here while we're down at the beach house. We've got to go down there for a month to, month to do all the final work down there. I installed a camera right up at the peak. Yes, my peak needs to be cleaned. See it up there? Now, a couple of reasons why I picked this camera. First of all, in the description below, I'm going to link to this camera. And I'll tell you right now that what happens is this same camera is branded under a few different names. So I'll find a couple different of these links. It runs about 140 bucks for the whole thing. Um, I like the fact that the solar plate on this one is over the camera. It mounts right on the camera and it protects it from a lot of rain that's falling. I, that was the main reason I bought this one. It was because that solar plate mounts on top. So what I'm going to do right now, um, I will say while I'm doing this, the only thing that you have to understand about um, a lot of these cameras is they don't operate on a 5G router inside your house. So what you have to do is while you're connecting this, and this took me, this was my only trouble spot with the installation of the app. Before you start this process, um, go to your settings on your phone and make sure you're not on the 5G version of your router internet. So you're gonna have to be connected to your Wi-Fi at the house, but you usually have an option, like mine says, you know, network 26 and then network 26 5G. Well, disconnect from the 5G and connect to the other one, which is your 2. Point whatever gigahertz. So you don't want to be on the 5, you want to be on the 2.5 gigahertz um, when, you, when you set this up. That was the only thing that I, I couldn't figure out at first. Read the, read the instructions. So I'm just going to bring this up real quick. And as soon as you bring it up, it's going to show you a live connection on this camera. 
So I can go in here and I can do, I can take a picture, I can talk, I can listen, I can do all kinds of stuff. But I'm gonna touch this now and I'm gonna go to record. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna record this. Now there's a little icon over here on the screen that when I touch this icon, it brings up this little um, movement bar. So if I want the camera to go down, I push down and it usually lags about a second. There we go, and it'll go down. If I wanna go over, it'll go over. So I can go over and I can do it again and it'll move again. Go up one. So that's what the system is doing. The system, I can move that camera around and I can see different areas. Let me push stop there. Okay. Uh, the other the other thing is if you do get one of these, there's a little, it's hard to see. There's an HD icon right up here. Um, you can go into your settings and put your default. There's in your settings, uh, you can make it as default HD or SD, standard video or high definition video. Ooh, we're about to get a storm out here. So my overall impression of this thing is I actually kind of like it. For 140, 150 bucks, I can put it up there. It's 100% solar. I don't have to worry about the batteries. And I don't have it, I don't really have this thing in a bright sun area. It's sort of semi-shaded, but I'm not gonna use it a whole bunch. Um, but I, the next thing I'm planning on doing is, is I might put one of these down at the beach house so that, again, something's out of frame and I wanna see it. I can move this camera and this camera moves left and right and it'll move up and down and it'll record anything I want. It'll send you notifications. Multiple users can use it. It's the same sort of thing as all your security systems. The app is pretty good. Um, I give it probably a B on the app. The camera, I give probably about a B, B plus. Quality of the video. Uh, the quality of the video, I give probably about a C plus. It says 1080 HD but the actual quality of it, I just haven't been able to get real HD because I'm being nitpicky. I will say that the nighttime video, the illumination factor of this, so when it illuminates at night, like I said, this whole area in my back fence is lit up really well. It mounts up with, I only put two screws up there and mounted it. Again, there's no other wires. So your battery, your Wi-Fi, everything, that's it. Put it up there and leave it, forget it. Again, I like the fact that the solar panel is mounted on top of this camera. Um, it actually acts as a rain deflector, which I've noticed down at the beach house, sometimes the wind can actually blow a little bit and the rain in my camera lenses can get a little bit wet and sort of block off that stuff. This went through two days of really bad thunderstorms and I've been checking this and I gotta say, my camera lens has been pretty clean now I do have it a little bit under an eave, but I do have, I like that solar panel on top. If you do order this, the frustration I had with getting this to pair up with my system was that, number one, make sure that you have your phone on, not on the 5G, again, most routers, you'll see two networks on your phone when you pick it up. You'll see uh, Netgear 51 5G, and then just Netgear 51. So make sure you're on the regular net gear. Number two, if your app is not recognizing your Wi-Fi, that was one thing that happened to me. Normally it would recognize it and pull it in automatically when it says the network name. I had to go in and physically type in my network name. So my network name was, let's say, Netgear51, all capital letters. So. That was the only other obstacle I had. It wasn't recognizing my network and maybe it was because I was on the 5G at first. So once I got on it, I typed in the name and then you type in your password and it locks in. Once you're done with connecting this and you pair that camera up, it actually talks to you. It'll annoy you, trust me. Ready to pair, your camera is ready to pair. Um, once you get this camera paired up, then you can go back to your 5G network. Uh, it, it's now connected to your network and will stay connected no problem. 
you can go anywhere you want. You'd be anywhere in the world and you can pull that up because the camera is now talking to the network. Your phone really has nothing to do with it. So once you're done pairing it, you can go back to your normal 5G. So I hope that explains it again. For about 150 bucks, this is more of a special use camera, I think. You know, the Blink cameras and all the security cameras, they're, not, they're pretty cheap. You can get them cheap nowadays. But if you need a camera that you want to actually be able to move around and look at a larger area or a whole house, this has two big antennas. The reception is pretty good. Uh, I like it. Anyways, uh, that's about it. I'll link to this camera in the description below. And again, I may put a couple different links because I've noticed, I'm sure this is, you know, made in China. Uh, what they do is they make this one camera and then they sell it to several different distributors and it's under different brand names. So I'll try and find a couple different brand names for you. Talk to you later, Doc.